Hey everyone, I'm Catherine. I'm here with Dr. Bacon for another Breakfast with Bacon. And today we're gonna to be talking about gas and bloating. Here, pull my finger. <laughs> <laughs> ah, just kidding. No, listen, so we gotta think about three things. So here we go, we go over three things that we're working on to help with gas and bloating, and then a little bit of understanding why. Number one, I'm gonna talk about is stress. Ah, why? One, we're on the go. You're eating really, really fast. You're getting food to go. You're kind of like, I passed a person on the way to work this morning, and it was early, and literally they were eating like a to-go meal in the car while putting on makeup. Like all of that stuff was going on while trying to drive, maybe even on the phone for crying out loud, I don't know. But like, that's no way to really calm down, slow down, chew your food, digest your food, break it down. Because under high stress, you're not digesting your food. So think about that. Then that food starts to rot in your system. It could cause reflux, GERD, all these other problems in there. And that is no way to live or to help support gassy and bloating in the gut. Number two would be what? Some foods that you're eating could be causing gas and bloating. So things like dairy. A lot of people are intolerant to dairy. That can cause some issues there. Other things like processed foods, of course, sugar alcohols. So if you're eating a lot of those sugar-free protein bars, different sugar-free items. A lot of those have some sugar alcohols added into them and they can cause some digestive issues. And cruciferous vegetables that you may not think about because of course they're very healthy, but sometimes people don't digest them very well. Yeah, it's just something you gotta work on and think about it, right? Really, plants also have some toxins to them. Mm -hmm. So they may be a little bit tougher to digest, but under a stressful environment, the gut's not very healthy, you may not be able to really tolerate those. Um, vegetables as well. Now, and number three is going to be actually increasing like low stomach acid is going to be a problem. Remember stress. And remember we talked about in the last video about apple cider vinegar and things like that. This is not holy water. This is just because we're putting more acid into the system. And what's going on then is it's helping to break down some of the nutrients that's kind of rotting in the system in the transverse colon. And the first thing that kind of gets exposed to the digestive system and putting pressure on that body and that digestive tract. So like adding in some apple cider vinegar is great. We've got a couple of supplements that we use on a regular basis, like Digest Forte, which is not a, a digestive aid. It actually helps produce, it's bitters. So bitter herbs that actually make your body produce more hydrochloric acid. If you suck on this a few minutes before you eat, you actually start to kick up some of the digestive enzymes and hydrochloric acid. Another thing that we gotta pay attention to is that digestive enzymes as we're aging, we're producing less of these enzymes. And when we were little, remember mom said, hey, it's okay to eat the sugar, right? Because all they thought it was was for energy. Well, guess what? No, that destroys the gut lining, mm -hmm. creates other problems. And this is where we need to start paying attention to this. As we get older, of course, we produce less acid, which is going to also create more digestive and gassy and bloating too. So there's a lot of information on this one here today, but I will like, these are the ideas to adding in some of the supplementation paying attention to what you're putting in, slowing down and chewing your food, and then watching what you're putting in too and being really sensitive to what those things that could be causing more irritation in the gut lining. Catherine, want to try again? No, okay, good. Thanks you guys for paying attention. We we'll appreciate you sharing this with your friends and family. Like, comment below. If you have any questions, let us know. And we'll see you again on the next Breakfast with Bacon.